does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again for another episode of Skip the Rules, and today we're skipping the rules for Battleship Card Game. This is for two players, ages 7 plus, and let's get into how to play. Now, the first thing I want to mention is I'm going to show you the advanced version of the game, but I'm also, during this video, going to tell you how you can play the beginner's version of the game, because there's very minor tweaks that you'll even be making to the game. So, in this game, you are going to set it up how I have set up right here here uh, you're going to take these ship cards and you're going to shuffle them up along with the blue ones and the red player is then going to draw five of these cards into what is called your hand and yes you can look at these cards right here the next thing you're going to do is make sure that each player red and blue have their two player reference cards which are really spectacular by the way and then you're going to take all these kind of generic backed colored cards and you're going to shuffle them up and randomly place these out now these cards are going to be your battleships and the goal of the game is to defeat your opponent's battleships ships before they defeat all of your battleships and if you can do that you will win the game but at the start all five of your battleships will be face down and you actually won't know where they are you just shuffle them up you randomly place them out and the youngest player is going to go first and we are now ready to start the game so on each and every turn, you are going to do exactly two things. The first one is you are going to look at your hand of cards and you are going to play one card and do whatever the effect is. We'll go over the effects a little bit later. The next thing you're going to do on your turn is then you are going to reload your hand back up to five cards. If you already have five or more cards, because sometimes that will happen, you don't draw any cards at the end of your turn and then it goes over to the next player. Now let's go back and talk about the play one card phase because now what I need to talk to you about is the five unique cards in the game and there are only five also you can look at your player reference card if you ever forget what the five unique cards are as well which is super nice so first we have the white peg card so if i wanted to play this card on my turn i would just tap any face down opposing ship like so they reveal it this card is going to stay face up for the rest of the game and then i discard this card now the whole point of these are trying to reveal things out on the battlefield i'm not actually doing any damage to any ships but sometimes you'll get a miss and i do want to mention that as well <clears throat> now looking at this ship right here i want to note one thing real quick if you are playing the advanced version of the game then you will use both of these however if you're playing the beginner version of the game then you will only focus on this right here and that's the one of the main version rules of the beginner's game now let's talk about what i would do next i would reload back up to five cards and my turn would be over and it's just that simple now let's say it gets back to me i don't know maybe they just did this so this is now face up next i'm going to play a red peg now a red peg is how you do damage to a ship so right now i would be doing one damage to the ship and it's going to require four damage in order to destroy this ship and then i once again would draw back up to five cards Ooh, i got a big four so yes that would in fact destroy this whole ship if i were to play it on there now, the other thing you can do with a red peg, though, is you could just play it blindly on something. So let's just say I decided to tap right there. Well, and that would actually do one damage immediately to this ship, which would be spectacular. However, the downside to this is that you might also tap something that is a miss, in which case that just gets discarded and nothing has happened. One other thing that I want to note is you don't have to hit this number exactly to destroy the ship. So I could play these two cards in two consecutive turns, and now this ship would be completely out of the game, and these would go to my discard pile. And that's pretty much all you need to know for the beginner's version of the game. You just keep going until someone has destroyed the other person's five ships, at which point that person will be the winner. Now, if you're playing the advanced version of the game, then we need to talk about these three other special cards and ship abilities. So let's get into that. The first special card is called the shield, and you actually place this on one of your own boats, like so, and now the opposing player has to play two red pegs in order to destroy the shield before they can go back to destroying the boat. Now, if there already was damage on the boat, so let's just say that this already had uh, a two red on it, it doesn't actually heal that damage or anything like that, but still, they have to now destroy the shield before they can destroy the boat, and to clarify... That means two different red pegs. So this would not actually destroy the shield. This would do half of the damage you need to destroy it. They would have to play both of these red pegs in order to destroy the shield, and then they can go back to destroying the boat. And at this point, all these cards would then get discarded back into their players' piles. The final two cards are choice cards, and you will actually get two choices to make when you play these cards. So let's go over the first one. 
This one is going to allow you to either discard or play two. So the discard lets you get rid of all the white peg cards you have in your hand. So let's say you had three white peg cards in your hand, you would just get rid of them. And why you'd want to do that is because playing red pegs is always better than playing white pegs because white pegs just reveal, whereas red pegs can both reveal and do damage at the same time. So if you have a whole handful of white pegs, that's a great one to play. Or you can play two additional cards. So how this would work is you would play this card and then you would get to play two more cards at the same time from your hand. And once again, you would always draw back up to five cards at the end of your turn. And last but not least, we have the repair or draw three. And how this works is once again, you're going to make a choice. The top choice means that you actually get to repair one of your ships. So you can take out one of these pesky red pegs and then give it back to your opponent and then play another card. Now, just to clarify, this does not work on shields. So if I had a shield up here and someone had played a red peg, I can't actually remove this red peg from a shield. The bottom ability will let you draw three additional cards from your pile and then play one of those cards. You also get to keep the other two cards you drew, and this card is the one that creates a scenario where you might have five or more cards in your hand at the end of a round, in which case you wouldn't draw any cards. But those are all the five cards you're going to encounter in the game. And now you're actually ready to play the game if you don't mind being surprised by the five special ship powers. If that's the case, then just go have some fun. But if you just hate reading completely, let's talk about the five separate battleship powers that you'll encounter in the game. So how these abilities work are, the moment that a ship gets revealed, the player gains the ability. However, as soon as the ship is sank, you lose that ability. So this one, the aircraft carrier, will allow you to reload your hand to seven cards instead of five at the end of every turn in which this is not destroyed. Next, we have the battleship, which allows you to add one red peg to each of your red peg cards. For example, a two peg card now counts as a three peg card, so you're just dealing more damage until this card is dealt with. Next, we have the destroyer, and you may now play white peg cards as well as red peg cards to damage enemy ships, so it makes your white pegs just a little bit more juicy. Next, we have the submarine. Only white peg cards can damage the ship, including the one that reveals it. If your opponent plays a red peg card on this, they just discard that card. And last but not least, we have the PT boat. At the start of your turn, repair any ship by removing one peg card. This power does not work on shields. And don't forget that once your ship gets sank, you lose that special ability. But that's Battleship Card Game from Hasbro Gaming. Go out there, go get some fun.